Welcome back, everybody. This week in America, thank you for spending some time with us. After serving four years in the Air Force, Bob Tyser came up with an idea in a philosophy class of how to explain gravity. Well, the result, his groundbreaking book, Vacuum Effects. In his book, he explains gravity as a long-range vacuum effect in the wake of emitted radiation, whereby the emitted radiation gradually loses energy that recycles back to maintain the atomic structure of the matter. Bobby retired in 1999. With many ideas to express, he took to writing to formulate them in a constructive manner. A prolific author, he speculated on economics, wrote many articles and books. Bob Tyser, author of Vacuum Effects, a tired light vacuum effect explaining gravity, is our special guest on This Week in America. Bob, welcome to the program. It's a real pleasure to have you with us today. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. This is such a, an interesting book, and we're going to try to uh, to summarize it the best we can during the program today. We'll give you information where you can go to get information on the book as as we talk during the program. First of all, this is such a fascinating topic. When did this interest in gravity begin for you? How did this whole journey begin? Well, I uh, took a class in uh, philosophy, and I got the idea of explaining gravity because Newton didn't explain it at action at a distance. Uh, there was an expert on general relativity at the University of Oregon, and he asked me how I how I could do something that all the geniuses failed to do, and then I figured, well, if I followed their steps, I'd miss uh, the simple reason, and so I kind of just uh, worked on it, and when I retired from the cannery, I started working more on it and came up with some good ideas. Well, you one of them was... Uh, yes, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, one of them was uh, interpretation of the Hubble constant where the came, where they came up with two different ideas. One was that, that uh, the Doppler effect where light the sources of light are expanding away for the universe to be expanding. And the other one was that light was losing energy as it moved through space. And I uh, checked to see if any of the other people had the idea of the lighter one, and, and I found, uh, got in touch with Ashmore, Lyndon Ashmore, and, and he had a new tired light theory and I expanded on it. it. It was consistent with uh, quantum physics. I expanded on it to include relativity. And, and I came up with uh, what Einstein just explained. Uh, gravity is space-time curvature due to the presence of mass. I got more in detail and, and I uh, explained in the court light, how light flows down, becomes mass, and comes away with packets, and the light superimposes through it and sucks in, in ways that it produces real motion and gravity. This is all in the book Vacuum Effects by Bob Tyser, our guest on the program. His website is gravitycauseexplained.com. Uh, you said in the book uh, that you aim to furnish an account that sticks to relatively simple math, mostly algebra and geometry. Talk about that because, and you mentioned that calculus had been used in, 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 in the formulation before. Was that a key to the success that you were able to use more geometry in this process? Yeah, I was, I, when I took the calculus class, you know, I... I kind of breezed through it, but I didn't do my homework one night, and I missed the question. But I got the right answer. I figured it out through geometry. So when you get into the the math and, and physics, you know, it's like several mathematical languages, and you can really simplify it into simple algebra. And, and using history, you know, for the development of theory, uh, you get a lot of a lot of it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You put pieces together and, and you you get up with a more visible picture that comes to it. 
this became well, I mean, a, Bannon, you know, well and, yeah this became anybody, a, you know any student can can make the effort to understand the book well that's interesting because you made the effort to to understand this concept when others before you had, had tried unsuccessfully what kind of process was that for you in doing the research to to find the answer that you were looking for? And then we'll talk about the challenges of, of writing the book. And by the way, the book is laid out step by step. So it's you've done the, the work. Bob, if you follow along, you can follow along and it's, and it's understandable. But what was it like doing research on something where you're basically a, a pioneer out there? Uh it took a lot of research in history. Uh, like when I, Lynn and Ashmore, he, he suggested I, I belong, I joined this uh, physics philosophy group there. They were like repaired physicists and mechanics, and they kind of questioned theory. And I didn't agree with everything that, you know, that was in it. Most of them were against relativity theory, you know, they were critics of it. But I learned a lot of history from them, like uh, Planck's uh, zero-point point energy and stuff like that. And I researched way, way back. And also the Internet, you know, the Internet helped a lot. I'd never been able to do this without the development of computers and the Internet. You yes. Know. You talk about Isaac Newton's postulation of gravity, you write, as both uh, groundbreaking and limited. Talk about that. When you mention Isaac Newton, we all have these ideas of him and and what he was able to come up with. Uh, Talk about his role as you see it in in this whole development of your theory. Well, it's it's, it's still part of theory, you know. It's just a step, you know. There's a little modification of Space and, and time, he postulated space and time were absolutes, you know. And the difference is that uh, when you're in motion and stuff like that, your clocks are affected and you're measuring. So space and time isn't absolute. So it just, it just had to be modified. And there's a little difference in there, like... Uh, Kinetic energy and Newtonian mechanics is only conserved in elastic collision. In relativity, there's there's a transfer of mass, so the, the collisions aren't really elastic. So in relativity theory, energy is, is internal energy is conserved, but not necessarily kinetic energy. We're talking about the book Vacuum Effects. Bob Tyser, that's T-I-C-E-R, is the author. His uh, website, gravitycauseexplained.com. You can get information there on the book and uh, and information on Bob and the other books that he's written, which we'll touch upon a little bit later on in the program. You mentioned connections with with relativity. Uh, Talk about that and, and some of your findings as you worked your way through this process. Well... Uh, special relativity was a unification of mechanics and electrodynamics. Uh, Einstein failed to include general relativity in this unification. Uh, there's differences uh, where in special relativity, life speed is constant in the limiting condition where matter can't exceed or even reach. In general relativity, uh, light speed varies in a gravitational field, and it also, it's also related to the escape speed, the speed necessary to escape the field. But but they converge at an escape speed of one half light speed. Light speed itself becomes one half light speed, and Similarly, uh, the rotational speed, the gravitational potential is related to the rotational speed. So, and it relate the rotational speed squared is one half the escape speed squared. It's 
so the inner relate and and uh addition of gravitational potentials theorem is possible because of that. Right. And an allergy to the addition of velocity's theorem of special relativity, so they should therefore a uh, unified theory should therefore be possible. Well, giving you a lot of information on the program, you will find it all very well laid out, easy to understand in the book Gravity Cause Explained. I'm sorry, Vacuum Effects at the website, gravitycauseexplained.com. Bob Tyser, our guest on the program. Time going by way too rapidly. I knew this was going to happen because of the, the nature of the topic. You you talk about matter and mass. I, I explain that in the, in the role of mass in this whole concept, in your, your investigation. Matter and mass. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, light differs from mass, and that light. Uh, they say that light, different light, can occupy the same space where matter cannot. But light also interferes with other light. There's interference patterns, and it can slow down. When it slows down, it becomes mass. And when it when it becomes mass, it can also, light can pass through it or it can reflect from it, and it can do that in a way that relative motion is possible, and it can emit light for a vacuum effect for gravity to be possible according to the equivalence principle of, of equating uh, momentum and gravity. Bob Tyser, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead and finish that, that thought. Yeah, and this summer too, there, there's electromagnetic attractions in there, and they're they're slightly different and they're similar, and and the gravity effect is more like a long range effect, recycling back where the, the decrease in energy, you know, is slowly and it recycles back and maintains the atomic structure of matter in that way, and. And the electric and positive effects are similar, but they, they just kind of counterbalance each other. Yeah, I mentioned this is a groundbreaking book, Vacuum Effects. Uh, Bob uh, Tyser is the author and our guest on the program. His website, gravitycauseexplained.com. Who is this book developed for? Who is this designed for? And again, I mentioned the, the fact that this is laid out step by step. Probably a book you would have loved to have had when you were going to college and got involved in this process in the very beginning because all the questions you had, you've got answered in this book. Who's the book? Who do you design this for? Well, I think it would be excellent for the, the student getting into physics for getting insight into it because, you know, before he gets into the complicated math, you know, he can get more insight in what's, what's going on. And I think it can... For established physics, it might be a step forward in, in developing theory further, you know. I, like I said, I, I, I showed how a unified theory is possible, but I, had, I haven't really formulated it, you know. And I think it, there's, there's more to be done, and I think it's just a step forward. Well, it's a giant step forward and one that nobody else had taken. Uh, along comes Bob and his research and his book, Vacuum Effects. Something you touch on, I've got a couple minutes left in the program, so not nearly time to do it justice, but the whole Big Bang Theory. Explain your, your thoughts on that. Well, I can't... It's possible, but it's, it's inconsistent with relativity theory and other theory, and it's been... It's been modified over the years. When I, back in the 70s, when it was first started, it was, I got the feeling they were at, at the university that they were pushing it as a, as a frame of reference because there was a beginning of time, you know, and they could relate the yes. construction of the universe according to it. But it's kind of taken over, and I, I think other theories should be considered possible. Bob Tyser with us. A couple minutes left. I mentioned that Bob is a, a prolific writer, written a number of books. One of those is Social Capitalism. It, just briefly give us a summary of that. And that book, information on that is also available uh, where you'll find Bob's books, and you'll get information at his website, gravitycauseexplained.com. 
Interesting concept on uh, social uh, capitalism. Give us uh, very briefly what that's about. Yeah, there's different connotations of socialism, and I'm kind of related to social wealth and cap and economic wealth. You know, social wealth is is when individuals competing the, the task is too go, too much to overcome, so you, you group together to solve problems, and it could be like it can be like three ways that promote capitalism, or it, it could be like social wealth can be the air we breathe is, is relatively free, except that you can be negative economics in the sense that the polluters have to clean it up, and it kind of finds ways to interrelate the social and the, and the economic aspects so, so that they can come up with more things like climate change and, and, and resistance. Right. Like as so much of Bob's writing, it gets you to think, and you'll find information on that, of course, at, uh, at Bob's website. If you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on directly to Bob's website, which is gravitycauseexplained.com. A minute left here at the end of the program. What are you working on now? It sounds like you still have work you'd like to do with with gravity. Are, are you working on on a follow up to vacuum effects? Uh, not, I think about it once in a while. But usually, I'm always coming up with early in the morning. I come up with some ideas, but I was kind of getting away from it. And I don't know. Like I wrote a novel, and it's not too bad. And and there's a contest I'm thinking about, maybe, entering it. Well, you're a very uh, talented writer and, and a researcher and a thinker. The book uh, certainly proves that. The groundbreaking book is Vacuum Effects, A Tired Light Vacuum Effect Explaining Gravity by our author, guest on the program, Bob Tyser. That's T-I-C-E-R. His website is gravitycauseexplained.com. I'm going to take a, another minute here. What kind of a reaction have you been getting to to the book? Well, people have read it. it I'm really, they've really been impressed with it, you know. Uh, but it's, it just hasn't gotten to be read yet, you know. So, yeah, it, a few. it's a game changer once you read the book, and you really need to do that. Again, it's laid out step by step. It's uh, it, it, it it's laid out the presentation so you can underst- read it and understand it. GravityCauseExplained.com is the website. Bob uh, Tyser, T-I-C-E-R, our guest on the program. Bob, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Best of luck in all the future writing endeavors. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk again. Thank you for being with us on the program. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. The book, once again, Vacuum Effects, GravityCauseExplained.com is Bob Tyser's website. You can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program right after these messages.